Samsung Electronics shares fell further on Wednesday, the day after the biggest one-day share drop for Samsung in eight years. The company also lowered its earnings forecast after the market closed. Samsung shares tumbled 8% on Tuesday after the company announced it would temporarily halt sales and production of its problematic Galaxy Note 7 smartphone. It later said it would stop selling the phones permanently. On Wednesday afternoon, Samsung shares slipped another 0.7% to bring its three-day slide to 10%. Samsung sports a market capitalization of 210 billion US dollars. Its shares account for more than 16% of South Korea's Kospi index, meaning moves in Samsung shares greatly influence the broader stock market. What do you the Galaxy Note 7 crisis escalated on September 2nd, when the company decided to recall 2.5 million handsets after reports about the devices catching fire. Hey, YouTube. Weeks of consumer confusion and frustration led the world's largest phone maker to discontinue the Note 7 altogether after reports of defective replacement devices. On Tuesday, Samsung told all Note 7 owners worldwide to stop using their phones immediately. Not surprisingly, the fiasco has caught the attention of South Korean government officials who worry about the impact on the country's exports. According to the South Korean Trade Ministry, Samsung's mobile handsets account for about 2% of the country's total exports. The company has about 100,000 employees in South Korea. The Note 7's woes came just as Samsung was getting back on track after two years of falling profits. Even after the latest share decline, Samsung's shares are up 22% so far this year. In addition to the smartphone recall headache, Samsung and its leader, third-generation heir Lee Jae-yong, are also facing a challenge from Paul Singer's Elliott Management. The activist hedge fund is calling for the South Korean conglomerate to simplify its structure by splitting into two. The challenge comes after a brutal fight last year between Elliott and Samsung's Lee family and ahead of a shareholder vote later this month. At that meeting, Samsung heir, Mr. Lee, is expected to be appointed to his first ever Samsung board seat. With the Galaxy Note 7 finished, the problems for Mr. Lee keep piling up.